Welcome to the second part of lesson six, creating a quick mask. Now, one thing I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a backtrack. One thing from the previous lesson that I didn't talk about is to click. If you want to remodify this particular image, you can double click on the mask and it will take you right back into the refined mask uh, settings. So I just double left click on the actual mask and it takes you right back on the actual mask, double left click. It'll take you back into these properties to refine the mask you wanna use. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. I'm gonna hit cancel. The next option I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a quick mask. And the quick mask is gonna be just for these glasses. And the reason I'm gonna create the quick mask is so I can add or change the color or the hue and the saturation of these glasses. And to create a quick mask is another way of making selections. Remember when, I, when we did a, the chapter on selection, I said Photoshop is all about selections. And a lot of these tools in Photoshop are designed so that you can select whatever it is you are looking to select precisely. So right now, I'm going to click on creating a quick mask, which is right on the bottom of your color palette. See this right here? If you mouse over it and hold it there, it says edit in quick mask. Click quick mask. And now quick mask is ready to go. Notice it's selected. Well, how do I use it? Well, you got to use a paintbrush in order to do a quick mask. And basically you, what you're doing is you are selecting what you want to do a quick mask on. Notice the mask is being, is everything in red. I'm going to go ahead and use a hard brush, a little bit larger size, a little bit smaller. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint right over the glasses. And this is my, so going to be, this is a quick mask. It's in red. This is what I'm selecting. Everything that is red is being selected. And I'm doing a, trying to do a really good job in selecting the glasses. Even all the way down in here, there's her glasses. Now notice this area right here, gotta be careful not to go over the glasses. So I'm going to select her glasses just like that. Again, remember I said Photoshop is all about selections. I'm gonna go ahead and select the glasses that she's wearing. So I almost finished. I just need to select a little bit more of the glasses. Notice how I'm zoomed in. And notice how slow my computer is responding. I'm just selecting the frame. At least I'm trying to do my best to select only the frame. and I'm just painting with my brush on the frame. Make sure you select all of it. There we go. Now the frame is selected, right? But we're not done yet. Click off the quick select mask and there's my selection. But notice what is selected, everything but the glasses. And if you do not invert your selection, this is what you're going to happen. So let's go ahead and adjust the hue and saturation. Adjust, I'm gonna adjust the hue and saturation. Hue saturations, watch what happens when I adjust the hue and the saturation. That is not the result I want. Control Z to undo, hit cancel. 
go ahead and go into selection and invert or control shift I. You invert the selection. Notice that marching ants disappear around the border. Watch this. Um, I did an undo. Notice what is selected. Everything is selected except for the glasses. Control shift I. I know that because look at that. Marching ants around the image, marching ants around the, the glasses. Control shift I to invert. Notice what is selected. No marching ants around the image, only the glasses. Now, if you go ahead and do the adjustments on hue and saturation, you'll see that we're gonna get the desired glass, glass features. See, now she's wearing green glasses. Let's give her purple glasses. Let's give her lighter glasses, darker glasses. How about red glasses? Do we wanna give her red glasses? There's her red glasses. Orange, yellow, back to green. There's her glasses. Click OK. Her glasses are being selected. That is all there is to creating a quick mask.